Recently, we had a comment on one of our videos showcasing Microsoft Excel regarding Excel's graphing capabilities, or more accurately, its limitations. The comment reads, It seems your axes do not scale. X-axis values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 10, so 7 values in total. You need to insert values or use a more dedicated program. Excel simply cannot handle 3D graphs properly. Of course, I paraphrase, but that was the gist. This comment is correct. Excel cannot handle 3D graphs properly in the sense of surface plots. The reason why is because Excel, while graphing in 3D, does not actually refer to numbers on its axis. I know that sounds confusing, but let me explain. The problem lies in the code of Microsoft Excel. Excel, while creating 3D images, is actually creating an illusion. Excel is taking two-dimensional data and is displaying it in a three-dimensional perspective. In other words, it's not really plotting a true 3D image. It just appears to be. For the most part, this works flawlessly until you have mesh data that is not properly spaced in the X or Y values. This can create a large gap of data in the axis. The truth behind this is that the axes do not actually exist inside the surface graph. Do you remember when I said that this was an illusion? Part of the solution is the tick marks located on the chart itself. These tick marks might look like numbers or data points, but in actuality they are labels. Labels are text, which can be displayed as either words, letters, and numbers, or characters. For instance, if I change the numbers on this graph data to words, then they will update the graph image. This is one of Excel's major faults when creating 3D plots. So, how do we fix this? As our commenter said, you need to add points. It's time consuming and can be difficult to nail your calculations just right. I will show you the long way of accomplishing this and then a much easier way that will have the process done for you in a matter of seconds. First, let's start with the long process. I have included a small sample of code that we will be using to fill in missing values. The code is as follows. B equals A plus C divided by 2. This line of code works for a single missing row. A is the first value, B is the empty value, and C is the second value. Begin by inserting a new row and inputting the calculations into the first cell. Equals A, which is our first value, plus C, which is our second value, divided by 2. Once that is placed, press Enter and your value is calculated. Select the newly formatted cell and drag it over to automatically fill in the remaining cells. If you have more than one empty row, the formula needs to be changed to something much more complicated. This formula, which is now on the screen, is created using specific cell placements and distances between the cells to accurately calculate the correct variables. AX is equal to the first value with a dollar sign between the letter and the number. B is an empty cell. C is the number of empty cells to fill. And DX is the second value with a dollar sign in between the letter and the number of that cell. As I said, more complicated, but it is pretty much the same process. Insert your row, add your formula, select, drag, and drop. However, there is a much simpler way. XYZ Mesh is a program developed to convert XYZ data into Mesh. Mesh into XYZ, XYZ into 3D lines, and export all that data directly into Microsoft Excel. XYZ Mesh has another feature called Theoretical Points, which will allow us to fill in those gaps in our data to generate a true surface plot in Excel. To start, we will be converting our Mesh data into XYZ. If you are starting with XYZ data, you can skip this first step. To convert our mesh into XYZ, we need to first copy our mesh data and paste it into the first cell in Mesh Input tab. 
Once our data is pasted, we can click the Convert to XYZ button. Now our mesh data has been converted to XYZ. With this new data converted, we are going to click the Copy All, which will copy our X values to our clipboard. Now we can click the XYZ Input tab and paste our newly converted data into the first empty cell. Once pasted, select Auto Sort, Complete Curve, and Theoretical Points, and then click the Convert to Mesh button. As you can see, our data is now converted back to mesh and has new values in the previously non-existing. To export this data into Excel, go to File and Export to Excel. This new window will appear with optional information that you can export with your graph. This information includes company name, graph data, chart type, date, email, and other useful bits of information that can help customize your converted data. Once you are satisfied with your information, click the Export button and all of your data will be exported directly into Microsoft Excel. As you can see, Excel is now graphing our 3D data correctly. What we stated in the beginning of this video still stands true. Excel has very limited graphing capabilities. However, XYZ Mesh greatly improves on Excel's shortcomings and allows for more functionality in its graphing abilities. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other XYZ Mesh tutorials. A free trial of XYZ Mesh is available on our website at greattechnical.com. If you have any questions about XYZ Mesh or any of our other products, please email our support at support at greattechnical.com.